Welcome kids and welcome from the beach. How is everybody doing today? Uh, I'm excited about uh, coming to you, coming to my first kids from the beach today. Um, we're going to be talking, continuing our uh, lessons in Genesis and we're going to be finishing up here soon. So uh, be looking forward to uh, what's coming next. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Joseph. Remember last week we talked about how his brothers, uh, there was 12 sons of Jacob, and um, Joseph was the youngest, and he was Jacob's favorite. And it was super, super uh, important to remember that uh, Joseph, though he was the favorite of Jacob, and though he didn't really do anything to, to deserve the, the way her, his brothers t uh, treated him, uh, he still uh, was faithful to God and knew that God was with him. Well, we're going to continue talking about that today. Um, and so he's got in the caravan and was sold into slavery, and uh, he was in this uh, in Egypt uh, there. And you got to imagine that Joseph kind of felt bad, like he he probably was like, does anybody love me? Everybody hates me. There's no way that I could be doing anything right because all this wrong stuff is going wrong in my life. Uh, you had to imagine that he was thinking about that. Well, um, he gets to Egypt, and he still held on to that thought of that God was in control and God had a uh, purpose for his life. And so he... Um, kept pushing on, and um, God gave him success in everything that he was doing there in Egypt. So even as a slave, even as being someone being told what to do and uh, how to do things, uh, he was doing them well, and he was doing them to the best of his ability in the way that God would want him to do that. And so um, he served well. Uh, he chose to be very honest. He was very honest with the people that he worked with, and also his the people over him, uh, and he was very nice. He was just a nice guy, and everybody liked him. So God kept giving him success, and um, because of that, he started getting put in charge of different things. So people gave him responsibility, uh, and I'm sure that you probably see that at home. A lot of times when you're nice and when you are um, uh, listen to your mom and dad, they give you uh, chore, or they give you responsibility, or they give you um, treats sometimes, right? Sometimes it's really fun to help them out on uh, doing different tasks, or uh, maybe uh, them giving you the responsibility of um, taking care of your siblings or other things like that. So it's important that uh, we see that Joseph, he was doing well, and God was blessing him. Uh, unfortunately, um, he had some snags come along. So uh, somebody wrongly accused him of doing something that he didn't do. Um, but Joseph didn't pout. He didn't whine. He didn't cry. Um, he was thrown into jail because of this. And he could have just said, you know what? I, I give up. This is, this is just horrible. But he didn't. He kept strong. He, he was still uh, able to uh, do what God wanted him to do, and that was to do whatever he's doing to the best of his ability. Um, and so um, because of that, the jailer, the person over the jail, um, found him to be very helpful because he would calm down all of the other people in the jail. He would help out around the place. Uh, and so the jailer put him in charge, and uh, he was in charge of all the people in the prison. Um, and so while he was there, somebody knew that God found favor in Joseph. And so because of that, um, the jailer was had a dream, and Joseph was able to interpret that dream because of God, the way that God worked in his life. And... Um, so when that happened, um, the Pharaoh, which is the king of Egypt at the time, 
had a dream as well and wanted it to be interpreted. And so he had all these people trying to tell him what to that what his dream was about. Uh, but then this jailer told him, "Hey, there's this guy in our jail who is very was very helpful for my dream that he interpreted for mine. So would you mind me bringing him so that he can interpret yours?" And he did. So Pharaoh was like, "Sure, come on, bring him." And he brought him and. Uh, um, uh, Joseph was there and he helped interpret the dream and um, he ended up just staying there. Instead of going back to the jail, he stayed there as a helper to the Pharaoh. Uh, and so um, he, what he did later on, um, he was able to help out around the around Egypt and was found uh, favor with uh, Pharaoh and he was put in charge of basically all of Egypt so even though bad things were happening to Joseph even when it was undeserved or um, <clears throat> wrongly accused he knew that God was in control and God was causing or allowing things to happen so that it was for Joseph's good okay uh, and a lot of times when we get into bad situations, we think that we, that's all we can focus on. We only focus on the bad things that are going on in our lives. But God will, has a bigger view. He has a view of all of our life. And he can see those bad times, but he also sees when things are going to be good uh, and how they can get there. And so we have to trust him to guide us and direct us in our lives so that we can be um, give glory to him uh, because of those things. And Joseph was doing just that, even though he was able to um, uh, get through these bad times and things like that. He didn't do it on his own accord. God, God brought him through those things. And we have to trust God to bring us through the bad times in our lives. So sometimes, you know, and I don't know what bad situations you're going through, um, and I don't even want to speculate on those things. But God will bring you through those. Even though uh, through this you know, COVID-19 pandemic situation, God can bring you through those. Um, and he has the ability and he's strong enough and he's powerful enough to bring good out of the bad. And that's exactly what he was doing with Joseph. In the, in the end, Joseph, we look back, Joseph began as a uh, son, sold into slavery, and now he's all the way to running all of Egypt under Pharaoh. Um, God was looking after him. God was keeping his promises with Joseph. So with that being said, I hope and I pray that you understand that um, it's important that we look to God in everything that we do. Uh, and I want you to remember this verse, Genesis 39, 2 through 3. It says, The Lord was with Joseph and gave him success in everything that he did. And I hope and pray that you can trust in God with everything that you have. 1 Corinthians ten thirty one says, Whatever you do, whether you eat or drink, you must give glory to God. And that's, what, that's our goal. That's what we need to be doing so that we can hear the verse of saying, God was with me and he gave me success in everything that I did. And it's all because I give him glory and I give him honor and praise because he's in control and he takes care of us. Um, so with that being said, uh, we're going to finish out with a prayer and then we'll in our time. God, we love you. God, we praise you today and we thank you for allowing us to gather together, even if it's just online. God, I pray that um, all these boys and girls that are listening to this will be able to give you glory in whatever they're doing, whether it be something as simple as riding a bike or helping others around them, or maybe even listen to mom and dad. God, I pray that um, in whatever we're doing, that we give you glory. We love you. Amen.
All right, guys, we'll see you later, and look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.